hear my thoughts. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watch the cowards get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite sized rappers down sense of What the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle Global Edition. We finally have stuff to do. Um, this is going to be a quick little guide on fight against despair hope the last super warriors gohan and trunks uh, this is actually a really cool event because you can get a ton of new characters and i am grinding the heck out of this uh for the next what week and a half that it's going to be out um there are uh two sr cards that you can get that will doken awaken um well the just the physical adult gohan i know he goes to SSR, yeah, so he just goes to SSR, so he so he awakens, but he doesn't TUR, whereas the Intelligence Trunks does, plus you have the Extreme Z area, which, oh my goodness, I still haven't even done yet. Um, actually, has that come out yet? I don't even think it's come out yet. Um, it, it probably, probably by the time you guys watch it, it will be coming out, because um, I know they kind of split a lot of stuff up in terms of... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, let, let me take a look here. Extreme Z area. Yeah, okay, so it does come out in a few days. All right, so I do have to farm. Make sure I farm him up because I, I think I have all his paths open, but I don't have his SA all the way up. Or maybe it's the other way around. Anyway, I'm babbling. Your boy's babbling. It's late at night. So this story, um, they refreshed it, this event. And it's fantastic because you can get 24 stones off of this thing, which I absolutely love. But as you can see, you have the tech Android 17. You have the strength Android 18, who together are very, very good. Um, yeah, it's just a really good event. Fairly easy. Now, um, what do I actually need? I think I actually need to farm more of the, uh, the Gohan. So we'll do the Gohan. So we'll jump into that event here, Last Hope, and we will boost it up because we want to be able to pull a ton of Gohans. Now, in case you guys don't know, which I'd be surprised if you don't, but there are probably some new people here who, you know, don't play the game as much, or maybe you just started playing the game. Um, up at the top where it says uh, Last Hope, there's a little button that says Effect. If you click that, oopsie, that did not, that's not the thing that's uh Kalen Khalifa. if you click that it says bonus reward drop rate increased so what does that mean it says there's a chance of obtaining additional rewards when you win a battle the chance of obtaining a bonus reward varies according to the number of characters belonging to the specified category on your team the more categories of that or more characters of that category on your team the higher the probability of obtaining a bonus when your drop rate reaches 100%, a bonus reward is guaranteed. If the drop rate is less than 100%, the odds of obtaining a bonus will be calculated accordingly. Not all enemies drop bonus rewards. So this is telling you, you have to bring future saga categories. So literally everybody on this list will count towards the bonus drop rate. You want to get this bonus drop rate as high as possible. Now here's a tip. SRs give a very low amount. Obviously, rares give the lowest. Uh, I don't think there's any normal cards on here. So it's, I'm pretty sure the lowest is rare. Then you have SR. Then you have SSRs. Then you have URs. And then you have LRs. So it actually doesn't matter if they're level um, 120 or 140. Extreme Z Awakened units do not matter. Uh, you want to make sure... You filter by future. So we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to go back up to future. Um, which I really wish we can, you know, st stack this by uh, alphabetical. That would be so much easier. Here it is. Future Saga. Hit OK. And then hit OK again. So you're going to want to bring an LR friend lead, right? So here we go. I'm going to click on this boy. And as you can see, I have a ton of LRs, but let's filter. So let's get rid of that. And first, let's see how big the future category is. So quite a lot of units, as you can see. I don't know if I'm missing any future Saga units. Maybe I am. Um, am I? Who would be in the future Saga? Well, besides the new Intelligence Gohan that just came out. I don't know if I'm missing anybody, it, regardless. Um, so as you can see, there's quite a few units on here. If we filter by LR, there's five. Here's the beauty of it. 
two of them are free to play. So you can at least get a very high number um, percentage-wise just off of two LR free-to-plays. It's the Strength Vegito here. It looks awesome. And then the AGL Trunks here, who also looks cool. So those two are free-to-play. Then you have the LR Physical Trunks. You have LR Trunks and Mai. And then, of course, you have the uh, LR Goku Black and Zamasu. So I'm pretty sure on Global that's all the LRs. Yes, it is. That's all the LRs that you can have for this particular team. And then your last spot is going to be just any future Saga category unit that you have that's level 120. So if you don't have any LRs, you want to make sure you bring level 120 units. Um, you can clear through all this content just by getting a friend LR Trunks and Mai. So let's just say, for example, you have a really you know rookie account like you got a real early account doesn't have many good cards on it at all or maybe you just have some good cards but no good future units and um, you know it's a pretty sad time but it is what it is right um that's fine you can just bring this guy and he's gonna do a ton of damage right he's gonna do absolutely good damage and keep in mind too even if you don't have this man at rainbow level he's a future psycho category leader as well so he's a free to play so even if you don't have lr you can go all the way to the base form have or this is his uh, tur form but have him as a leader 40 percent future saga category leader and then if we go to the ssr base version right 30 percent so even him getting him up to level 100 right here he's still worth bringing he's still worth because he's the future saga leader so and if you take a look at this he gives himself 10,000 attack um you're not gonna be facing two enemies i don't think in any of that maybe like one or two stages you'll get that uh extra four key in attack and defense eight thousand but he'll do supreme damage like this is not a bad option and this everyone should be able to get this guy um just one card to drop right like that that shouldn't be an issue at all so that's something that um is is like don't sleep on that for sure uh, same thing with this you should have enough incredible gems to at least get this ssr version which then you can you know level up and keep in mind he's super class key plus two hp attack and defense 30 percent so that's a leader skill right there right that 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 can work and he's pretty solid attack and defense 40 percent raises key by up to six like so he starts at one and he gains more the less health he has he's got pretty good links right super uh prepared for battles few few spiders brainiacs which some some trunks and whatnot um uh, share if i remember correctly yeah lr trunks and my will share so there's a few units that are going to share units. so these are good free to play or good share links these are good free to play options that you can definitely bring onto the squad okay so let's just say you're not taking a look at lrs and you're taking a look at urs you're like dude what free to play units can i bring well first off you can farm out those androids and get them up there because they don't awaken as well so that's one thing for sure so let's get rid of that right and uh as you can see we can bring along this tech 17 completely free to play level 120 we could bring along this free to play eight uh 18 completely free to play pretty solid unit attack and defense 70 percent that if you have both of them together they just do massive amounts of damage and if they're facing a hybrid sane enemy which they will they're going to launch an additional super attack i believe the 17 does something different what does he do Nope, he does an additional super attack as well. So just really, really good. Um, is there any other free-to-play unit that I'm missing here besides him, obviously? Um, is this man free-to-play? I don't think he is, no. Uh, who else is there? Uh, I think that's about it. I mean, obviously, this guy is from the World Tournament. I don't know if many of you have him, but he's very interesting there as well. Anyway, let's uh, bring that support back on there. But yeah, so that's a very easy way. So as you can see right now, for me, I'm at 235. The cap is 245. That's the highest you can get to, 245%.
Um, but let's jump into it. Again, we're trying to get SR trunks because we do want to have that boy ready, steady, you know, just looking to go as soon as that Extreme Z area comes out. And in case you guys don't know, that Extreme Z area will be, uh, it's like a, it's like an Extreme Z awakening. It's like an easy Extreme Z battle. Um, it's just, it runs a little bit different. So you will 100% want to farm out those free play units. Like, there's no if, and, or buts about it. You make sure you do it. So again, what did I talk about before? This friend, LR Trunks and Mai, obviously this is mine, but if the friend, LR Trunks and Mai, was in this position, it's they can carry this whole thing. So check this out. First off, he'll take a super attack. He gonna dodge it, because you know how that is. 2.5 million. Here it is. Take this home with you. <laughs> so, as you can see, he does quite a bit of damage. Just, just a smidge, right? Just a smidge. So, there it is. Bonus already. And then what else did we get? So, let's go ahead and click there and see what else we got. Because that, that doesn't show you everything that you got. All right, that doesn't show you all the rewards. Oh, look at that. Five crying trunks, which is fantastic. Five of them. So very, very good. Very, very good. Happy about that. Um, so there you go, guys. That's pretty much what you're going to want to bring. And again, the bonus was two. We got three on boost, which is really solid. Um, but that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you bring all your high levels. If you have free-to-play characters that you haven't Doken Awakened, I would say do that first because it's going to make the rest of your grinding on this uh, event easier. So if you don't have enough 100 level 120s to fill out your future team, then get those, get the androids, get the what's it called, um, you know, this intelligence trunks, and then that'll make the rest of the grinding easier for everything else. So hopefully you um, take this information and it helps you out. Um, hopefully you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, and if you haven't, good, goodness gracious, what are you waiting for? It's about 50% of you. I'm shocked that you haven't done so uh, at this point. Shame on you. Uh, regardless, gently rub that subscribe button. Gingerly ring that bell button. Sensually kiss the like button. As always, this is periodic. See y'all in the next video.